is it helps us to test to see if a triangle is a right triangle. So it's like saying the Pythagorean theorem backwards, right? So let's take a look. Say they give us the three sides here, four, five, six. They say, does this form a right triangle? Well, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure it forms a triangle. So you wanna make sure that any two sides add up to more than the third side. That's called the triangle inequality theorem. But you just wanna make sure that they'll, they're gonna form a triangle. So four plus five is a nine, that's greater than six. Five plus six is 11, that's greater than four. And four plus six is 10, that's greater than five. So it does form a triangle. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna test the uh, converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared question mark c squared. Now which one's c? Is it four, five, or six? Well, it's six. Six is gonna be the longest one. That's the one we're testing to see is the hypotenuse. Okay, that, that's the longest side in a triangle. The, the right, uh, the one across from the right angle, the hypotenuse. So in this case, we're gonna put six here, we're gonna put four here, we're gonna put five here. I'm just gonna leave a question mark and let's simplify. We've got 16 plus 25, 36. This is 41, which does not equal 36. So that means that it's not a right triangle. It does form a triangle, it's just not a right triangle. Okay. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to tell whether it's acute, right, or obtuse, so check out that video. But let's do one more example. Here they give us a triangle, 9, 12, and 15. Still, you wanna make sure, even though they've drawn it this way, that it does form a triangle. So you add the two sides up, make sure it's more than the third side. So 9 and 15, that's more than 12. 12 and 15 added together is more than nine, and so on. But we're gonna do the Pythagorean converse. We're gonna say nine squared plus 12 squared does it equal 15 squared? And remember, 15 is the one that we're testing for the hypotenuse, that's the longest side. So let's simplify, we get 81 plus 144, 15 squared is 225, 15 times 15. And if we add these together, we do get 225. It does equal 225 on the right side. So that means that yes, this is a right triangle. That means this must be a right angle right there.